hallucinations. If you're working with any generative AA tools like a ChatGPT, GitHub Copilot or others, you've probably heard about AI hallucinations and a lot of people are trying to find ways to eliminate these issues. Stick around and let's talk about this today. Hey everyone, how it's going? My name is Julio Arruda and today we are aware for another video uh, to my channel. And you already seen in the title, uh, we are going to talk about a really important topic for another, um, for anyone working with artificial intelligence and large language models. The hallucinations of this model, the hallucination uh, with tools like a chat, GPT, Bard and others. Um, we are going to understand why these models, no matter how advanced they are, still generate our wrong answers. And more important, how can we deal with that in your daily lives? But before we dive in, I'd like to thank uh, for the researches Surav Banerjee, Ayush Argual, and Salone Singla from Data Labs and United We Care. Rose Studio inspired the content of this video. They did in a deep analysis of uh, LLM limitations and why hallucinations are inevitable. So let's dive into this topic for now. First, let's quickly define what hallucination in LLMs are. Basically, their responses as model generate that seem reliable but are totally wrong or made up. For example, uh, the model might invent a scientific study that never existed or give a wrong answer like a, a, a get a year of historical event wrong. This happens because LLMs doesn't actually understand the world, they just generate text based on the patterns that we've learned that, lear uh, that they uh, was trained for. And why do these hallucinations happen? But why does this happen after all? Let's break it down into three uh, main points to me. The first one uh, is a mathematical structure of LLMs. Um, large language models works based on word predictions meaning they try to, to guess what the next word in a sequence will be, based on the patterns that we've learned. Um, they don't have access to the factual truth or don't know what's the right or wrong. They, uh, they are just trying to mimic what they learn from the training data. The next one is unpredictability and incompleteness data. Uh, even with a massive training, we will never be able to give this model all the knowledge in the world. Training a LLM is a never complete or fully up to date. Godel's incompleteness theorem shows that there will always be limits to that the system like it can understand. And the third one is information retrieval problem. Even when the correct information is in the data, the models often, often fail to retrieve the accurately. Uh, they can confuse uh, a context or mix up information, leading to answers that seem correct but are wrong. Now, let's talk about the consequences of this hallucination, which can uh, be quite serious. The first one is impact on decision making. Uh, when a model hallucinates, it can um, negatively influence important decisions in areas like healthcare, finance, and um, even legal applications or in a software applications. A mistake in this context can have a serious consequences. The next one can be ethical and legal risks. Hallucinations can lead to spread of misinformation and legal problems, especially when wrong information is taken as truth. Uh, there have been cases where models created false information about legal decisions, which can be a huge risk. And the next one is erosion of trust. If people are repeatedly exposed to incorrect information generated by AI, the trust uh, in the system strength to decrease, it's natural. 
this can be uh, it harder for AI technology to be adopted in areas uh, where they could be very useful. Um, you might to be wondering um, what's being done to deal with this? Uh, why we can't complete eliminate the hallucinations? They are, uh, there are some strategies to mitigate them. The first one is improvement in architecture and training technicals like uh, Chain of Thought, like uh, GPT-01 Preview, which encourage the model to explain uh, its reasoning step by step and re help reduce the errors. Another approach is self-consistence, which tries to generate multiple responses and choose the most consistent one. The next one is a uh, use of the retrieval argumented generation or RAG process. This RAG allows the model to consult in external databases, generating more uh, accurate responses based on uh, up-to-date facts. This improves the quality of the answers but doesn't guarantee a hundred percent of accuracy, okay? It's something like a training but it's not a proper training. And the next one can be uncertainly qualification because this, technical, this technique uh, measures how confident the model is in the response, helping to identify when the model might be hallucination. However, it's not the definitive solution yet. So, to, uh, to wrap it up, uh, it's important to understanding that hallucinations are a part of nature of these models. No matter how much we advance in architecture and mitigation techniques, hallucinations can't be fully eliminated. We should use these tools as a complement uh, to your human judgment, not as a replacement. Always use your critical think, validate the information when possible, and see these models as a partner that, just like and just like us also make mistakes. Microsoft, to me, it's a best to call it co-pilot, it's not a substitute. And once again, thanks uh, to the authors of this study that inspired this video. And if you enjoyed the content, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for the channel for more videos like this. And let me know if you... Uh, and let me know in the comments what you think. Have you ever experienced LLM hallucination? Let's chat about that. Um, thanks for watching this video. See you next time. Take care.